Okay, that's Brigginshaw in sweet summertime, and you'll be able to see Brigginshaw at the Gimby Master if you are going, but it'll be Thursday, 3.45 at the Crowbar, so that's just starting to warm people up, so I'm sure Luke and the boys should get people warmed up nicely. And life's short, so you might as well get up there, oh, do you hear what I did then? Yes, I heard what you did. Yes. We all heard what you did, Tracy. <laughs> Life is short. Well, that's the fifth single from the album Diamonds and Wine from Melissa Bardrick, and she joins us tonight. Melissa, first of all, I apologise. I had to leave you on your own with the big D a few last time we spoke to you. <laughs> That's okay. We had a great chat. <laughs> Congratulations on yet another single. What's this? Four hundred off this album, is no, it? Number What's five. this? <laughs> Four hundred off the album. We've had quite a few, but this is number five. And, and completely different. different. Yeah, I have, I love different styles of music. So I just wanted to show people that there are those different sides and the kind of music that, that I enjoy singing. It's a very, very catchy tune. It is. That's the first thing that really grabbed me with this song. It had this pretty little tune happening there. And it was a song that made me smile. And I think, you know, there's so much country music. There's so many songs out there that... Uh, a sad songs or heartbreak songs and things like that, which is really common in country music. And it's nice just to have one that you listen to and you want to smile. The songwriting is actually a, a mixture of three people there. How did you come about finding the song? This song was one that was sent to me from overseas and I get quite a few songs sent through. And this one, like I said, it just grabbed me from the moment I heard it. And I wrote back straight away and said, I really want to record that song. What's the process once you hear a song that gets sent to you? It depends who the writer is and how much freedom they want to give the, the singer. But I always like songs that I can put myself into and change a little bit and things like that. Originally, this song had a bit of a whistle at the beginning. I just loved the little doo 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 bit. So I had to do it like that. <laughs> the, the one thing that struck me with it Melissa is that it was completely outside the box but it's it's almost you can feel it's an older style sound to it as well you know almost like a, a Broadway musical sort of number that they might really? do. Really that's how you feel? Like yeah me. that's I how was, I feel. And see it's very isn't this interesting because he sees it that way and I see it as a happy skipping through the park fun song. I think it, it brings out all of those things though I mean to me it's even got a little bit of a jazzy kind of a feel behind it in the style of, of the singing and the melody that's there. Mm. So there's lots of different things that have been introduced into this song and I think when you have several writers as well, that kind of thing happens because they're all bringing in their own influence. Yeah, yeah. I think that's what I'm getting at is, Maybe, it, is yeah. it could go into a, it could be something that could be in a, in a musical show or that sort of thing and you break into that whole song and dance. That's that's what I got from it as well anyway. that's no, I think I think we need to write the musical. That sounds fun. <laughs> yes. Oh, life, no, here we go. life is short, the musical. The musical. Oh yes, I love it. <laughs> I love it. I'm, I'm, I'm free tomorrow, Melissa. <laughs> Can you do a dance number yeah. for me in it? A dance number? Oh, no, come on. Come on. <laughs> I'm going to record that and put it up somewhere. <laughs> you haven't seen the Big D dancing yet, obviously. Well, <laughs> what I want now is I want the listener to give us the feedback on what they think about the song and uh, yeah, where they, where, they w where it sits. Does mm. it sit in an old-style country music, a happy-go-lucky <laughs> song, jazz mm. or musical? And you must be getting sick of the next question, though, but what next for Melissa? When's the next album? You must be busy looking at that, well, considering you've album, done... Well, not the next album, but we've got five next singles project. of this one. Are we going to see more singles of this album? There are a couple of more singles yeah. to come off this one, but I am already working on the next one as well. I've been doing a lot of songwriting recently been traveling around quite a bit to do some co-writing as well and i'm heading i will be heading back up to the studio this year sometime so we will make a start on the album melissa thanks very much for joining us again tonight we do have a really big night tonight and i'm glad that you're part of it but in the meantime if you don't have a copy of diamonds and wine where can they get it they can head to all your favorite download places you can head to my website melissabadrick.com or you can head into your favorite music store well, let's have a listen right now. Here is Melissa Badrick. Thanks for joining us again. And life is short. Thanks so much.